if you have a script in which you define a game object type variable, then in Unity assign some game object to that field in the inspector and then call the destroy function on that game object, for example in the start method. When you run this, you'll notice that the game object is no longer there because it was destroyed. Maybe you don't want to destroy the object immediately after calling the destroy function, but a couple seconds later. In that case, you could destroy the object inside the function and then invoke that function after a couple seconds or define a coroutine and inside add a delay of a couple seconds, then destroy the object. But I'm making this video to show that the destroy function in fact has another overload that directly allows you to delay the destruction of the object. Instead of just destroying the object here, add a comma and indicate the amount of seconds to delay the destruction, for example, three seconds. Now, when we play this, the object is destroyed after that time. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.